block armors class for two hundred fifty dollars. Second that. Purchase order fifteen forty four. The movement second is, is Officer Hancock the person that we sent last year. No, it was uh, oh, enjoy. Oh, well, okay, I couldn't remember if this was the pressure form. Or, okay, well, it's better to have someone in house, right? That can fix yes. It. Okay. Any other questions? Mm -hmm. right, all yeah, it's so purchase order fifteen forty four. May I have to block? Okay. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Those opposed. Purchase order number one five four five to six hour to send Officer Hancock to the rifle armor of course. And that's coming out of Post Development Line item as well, and that's the four hundred three dollars. Okay. Um, I'll move purchase order fifteen forty five to it says six hour um, for four hundred and thirty dollars for the rifle armorers class. Second. My question, so I don't need to ask. I'm sure you already know what it was. Go ahead. Is, is this because, is he the one of the, is he the one that's still helping to guide it to go and He's on the SWAT team? Yes. Uh, no. Officer, uh, no. Officer Joy was our firearms and rifle army. Oh. Those are folks that can take no fire to pay them. And, and oh, that's what they do. That's shoot. what this is. Oh, well, it's not a shooting. No, this oh, is just so it. we have someone in the house that can repair and replace parts. Oh, okay. Thank you. The first one was for handguns. This one's for right. Just rifles? Right. 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 All righty. All those in favor of purchase order? Not any other questions? No. no. Okay. All those in favor of purchase order 1545 say aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. I get the year right. It came with the date or something. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I just have a question concerning the wording of the warrant article for the Message board. Yes. Um, is it going to be awarded so it's contingent upon successful? Uh, a, a grant? Or is it just going to be, we'll apply for the grant to offset it? Because you can't do it. I'm looking off into the measure of walls. You can't, um, you have to get your grant once it can get permission to buy it, right? So you can't apply for your grant right now. We've, we've already submitted an application oh, for it. Yes. Oh, However, we, we have not received word if they're going to accept the application or not. Yeah. So, I mean, the money's in the, the CIP to pay for the whole thing anyway. I just, I'm just, I guess I'm just cautioning you folks not to. I would like to see it so it's not worded that that is contingent upon the right. successful. And this is the one week I didn't it. bring in my town report. I bring it every week. I never look at it. So I could reference how they're written. I don't know. I, I, I don't think it was our intention to, to say that. So do we have to say that we're going to take the whole amount out of CIP and then put a clause in the event that a, um, the grant isn't um, granted? Well, you have to take the whole amount out of think, anyway. Yeah. Well, I think we you have to take we the whole amount out? Mm -hmm. You're not going to pay the whole amount out. Give the grant while you reimburse them. Right. 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 So What's that? Do the, the grant will be a reimbursement. So you're going to put that back in CIP? I guess that's it. Yeah, I, I, I don't I would, think. I would think, right? I don't think any of it's coming out of CIP. I don't think there was any balance in CIP. I think it was taxation plus grant. So I don't think CIP plays into it at all, except it came through that process, and it's a capital item. But we should check into that. So yes, we can word it so that we may apply any grant that comes in. Can we do it? Yes, we can. We're not going to deal with a warrant tonight. Well, a small oh, group, sure. apparently, but um, that's the 21st meeting. Um, <laughs> but uh, yes, so you know, I'll make a note of it now. Um, it's for the, the board, right? The what is it called again? Is it just a message? The radar message. Radar message. Radar message. Radar message. Radar message. Is that something that detects your speed and flashes it? Yes. Okay. So is that what you can, you can uh, set up so it can say town meeting this day, the caution, emergency zone, head, road right. closed, right. stuff like that. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. And and it's, it's mobile. It's, like it's mobile, yeah. Trailer. And it's uh, solar power as well.
instruments filling air bottles oh, okay. for the guys at the scene. Because of course when we arrive everything's full but you can go through a bottle in 18 minutes. So when you come out and you get your rehab and you get ready to go back in, your bottle gets filled. And this unit, basically now it's an old plumber's wagon kind of rig. Mm -hmm. It carries a cascade system inside and they fill the bottles. So the guys can continue mm -hmm. keep going until the incident's wrapped up. But that's the old bot, the old system. They have a new one. We've got a $278,000 grant. And they've got a new, uh, it's in the pipeline right now, a new uh, air vein. Uh, but it's not going to be just air vein. It's still going to have the cascade system in the back to fill bottles, but it's also going to be kind of like a short bus kind of thing. It's going to have a 10-seat rehab section in the middle of it. So if it's like it is tonight, you know, snow or it's 14 degrees this morning, the guys need to get out in the cold. You can go in a warm spot, and grab a pilot bar, and, and rest up for a day before we shove you back out to go back in the building. Yep. So it's a whole new uh, unit that's going to be going into service sometime this spring. Nice. Yeah. So that's kind of hard. So, and the last one I have. Oh, let's move on to my first one. Okay, I'm sorry. Any other discussion of 1509? Seeing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? All right. All good questions. And then there's this one for, kind of dropped it in your lap the other night when you had your meeting on Thursday for the uh, dispatching services and the radio equipment, to the MOU agreement thing that we have to pay for. And uh, I know you guys were busy the other night and this didn't really get acted on. I don't know if we want to do something with this tonight or not. As far as he's presenting it to you. Um, the dispatching services, it has uh, uh, that on there. And I originally put in the budget for this year, I level funded it because that's what I, the number I had to work with, and it was $6,086. Okay. It's actually gone up by $351. Okay. I got the uh, invoice from them the other day, so it's actually $6,451 for this year for dispatching services. The other half of this is the, uh, we discussed it over and over, the line item that I wanted to add for the radio equipment in the budget, and that also covered the MOU piece of the pie. All right, and that's what this is here, the 4452. The first installment of the three we need to make to own repeater equipment that we had to purchase. Three we need to make, but yearly. Not three payments this year. No. But it's a yearly the payment. Next, One yes. payment a year. Right. Over okay. the next three years. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's the way it was set up. Rather than them wanting uh, having to make this come up when we set up this with the agreement with the new police piece of chief of police is over, we'll, we'll just spread it out in three years. Absorb. I'm sure you were that horse started when it came in there. It <laughs> kind of fell in all of our laps and it's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Mm -hmm. We kind of worked it around and this is where we are. So this is the PO for that, for the whole, I'm sorry, how much is it? Okay. Nine something. So, okay, well, I'll move purchase order 1568, City of Dover, for $10,903. Six thousand four hundred fifty-one forty-six is dispatching service, and four thousand four hundred fifty-two for communication equipment for the MOU that we agreed with with Dover. So you said it went up how much? Three hundred and fifty-one dollars. Why don't we have a second? Yeah. Second. Okay, we move a second. So, Mark, clearly we've got the we will have the money whether the, the budget that's. Select board's version, the budget grades version, or the default budget passes. There's money in there for dispatching services. So the oh, 300. Right. Well, that's what I'm saying. So that's not a problem. So that, yeah. that's covered. Um, so the, the $351 that we have to absorb if it, if it goes to default is contractual. You're right. So that should be the whole amount. That, that should be the whole amount. But we didn't have the we didn't have the Did dollar amount when we sent it to the budget committee. So I think we can right. absorb the 351 somewhere in the budget. The um, communication equipment also was contractual, but it wasn't. Um, is there a line in the uh, item? Again, I didn't bring my book. Is the one night I didn't bring the book in. Um, the night I needed. I had a discussion the other day, and, and Caroline brought it up with her default budget yeah. information. And like I said, that's why I had to include that. So line that's item. included in the default budget? I just want to make sure. If that line it. comes into the budget that I presented, and hopefully it gets passed. I know you. Mm -hmm. Hold on. 
So that's part of the default budget. It is already. Yes, okay, so the appropriation is... Okay, it's a contractual issue. I just, before we move on something, and, and it said default budget passes and the other ones don't, I don't want to have to find $4,400 in your budget somewhere. But it's, it is a contractual issue, so it should be in there. Yes, no, it shows 15000 What's the 15000 The other one was for to buy two more portable rooms. That's what I thought. Okay, yeah, 10000 uh, total for that. Yeah, okay, okay, so, so it's 15000 in the budget, but contractually we're only being able to move forward with the 4452 four, four, okay, because wanna, that is... Before we vote, I want to yes. make sure that we have yeah. all our... Mm -hmm. all our yeah, T's crossed and dies, dotted, and, and all that. It's MOU so. for three okay. years. Okay. All right, so with that understanding, mm -hmm. is there any other discussion of purchase order 1568? All right, seeing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 aye opposed? All right. So I'm all dealing with the new process, so I want to make sure we're all, all kind of on the same page here. Mm -hmm. All right. And, and as you said, that's why. And we started budgeting way back when, that's why I asked for that 15. Mm -hmm. I know it's been a sticking point for a lot of people and budget people and whatnot, and why we needed to get so many radios up front. Mm -hmm. we've kind of, I don't know where it sits, we'll find out I guess come Saturday, but uh, the original uh, Warren article now, I guess the 12 is not going to get purple, right? Mm -hmm. And this was to hog that, that's what the other 10 was for. So I'm not going to be coming in every year and asking for that amount of money. Right. Hey, you, well, I get two more radios if we can have that additional line up. So we keep moving forward out of the operational budget. And the budget committee is meeting on Wednesday? We are meeting on Wednesday. To vote on what number they're sending, I think, to the public hearing. Right? So, Correct. So, so you vote for the other obviously, you're going to be there. I shall. And you understand. I do. Okay, right. right. if you need to, if you felt like you need to be there, they're meeting on Wednesday. This coming yeah. Wednesday? Yeah. If there's an issue, I got your way from it. Yeah. Okay. I think we've kind of beat that up to that. Yeah. Right. Hopefully, yeah. hopefully people understand the, the, the urgency. Any other, anything else for us? There's nothing else that I have. I have kept fire ponds on here just for the placeholder for us all. So we don't just say, uh, especially the one down here. Sure, I haven't had a talk to me the other day. Uh, we kind of got cut off because she had something she had to leave. But they're still doing something. They wanted some information from us. I said, the town as a whole has been looking into maybe adding stuff, trying to find out whether or not that's something that we own, your association owns, or whatever. But they were to the point where he was saying that it's, uh, he understands that that one's no good, failed, and we tried to use it. Right. And he's on board to work with the town to uh, replace it. Okay. And as a replace it, not where it is, not, not the location it's in, not the moving down next to the home. The standpipe? Yes. Yeah, the okay. standpipe right now is 150 feet away. It's in a very not a good place for us to use it. Okay. So now we've got to put it down by the Well, that was the point. something convenient for you. So, so yeah, so. easier for us, right. easier for them to not damage it as they've already done in the past. So okay. I think you're more on, the, on board the point where we'll support that now, wherever it goes from there. We'll, we'll see. Okay. So your placeholder is actually. Okay. Yeah. All right. Perfect. And, but the biggest concern was the uh, was the mills, right? Yep. And I saw Brian Pellerin. And we had a conversation about it, and he that one that's there now is his. And he's going to keep it up and operate, so okay. maintain. It. And I told him what our other issues were that we're looking at down the road. Maybe install one down by the region and one at the upper section. And he was actually open that there was something that he could do to help. Oh. Okay. Well, with that, I planted the seed. Okay, hopefully, that'll, perfect. hopefully that'll germinate. Maybe he can throw something if he needs a way to help us. Because he, he understands that if anything like that happens, he's the one that gets the most benefit out of it from anybody else. From mm -hmm. all of those, right? Yeah. Correct. So I kind of presented it that way. Mm -hmm. And he kind of goes, yeah. Mm -hmm. So we need more than yours. That's not here. We can utilize either end. Mm -hmm. We can supply more water. And he got it. So hopefully it'll work. Yeah. Yeah. No, I don't either. I know you have, you have a plan for it, but I don't. I don't, I don't either. Know. Yes, we do. <laughs> but I'm trying to augment it and make it so that it's used for any purpose. Watching that mineral burn in uh, Sanford. Yeah. Uh, i enough. So. Yes. yes, I did too, standing in the street. You were actually there doing something with it. I just yeah. watched the aftermath. So. Yeah. All right, anything else for the Chief? Okay, well, thank you very much. Okay, very nice. Thank you. All right, Town Administration City, why don't you come up here?
and now have a seat with us, and so we're going to talk about the warrant. So what is, what is the rec committee? What is the rec committee like? What, what is the rec committee? I met online after speaking, sending an email to the rec committee and getting a response from at least one of the chair members that we had discussed it, and I found a more article worded from the DAR. DRA? DR, yes, thank That's you. Even better. Um, of how it should go on to the warrant. Okay. Um, That's what we need. Okay. So, this is here for you at the bottom. I put a couple bullet points that I was hoping to get clarification. Did you have any more? I did. Okay, so that my understanding was that this account was going to act to be able to uh, save anything that they raised, not received from the town, and the money that they raised to be put into the account after expenses were paid. Right. This is showing that you're looking to have a deposit for that. So I'm wondering, do we need to have a deposit? I also found two articles which are referenced in the last bullet point um, from the New Hampshire Municipal Society or Association, yeah. um, town, New Hampshire Town and City, and this is one of them. I printed out um, one copy um, about understanding your recreation revolving fund, and it goes through some basic questions and answers. Right. You gotta give me a second. Let me read the read the, the one. To see if the town of Rome will vote to establish the recreation revolving fund pursuant to the statute. Uh, the money received from fees and charges for recreation, park services, and facilities shall be allowed to accumulate from year to year and shall not be considered to be part of the general fund on the sign fund balance. The treasurer shall have custody of all monies in the fund and shall pay out of the same only upon the order of the recreation and park commission or other board or body designated by the local legislative body. So it should be selected uh, in this town. Um, but we can fix that if we need to. Uh, these funds may be expended only for recreation purposes as stated in the statute. And no expenditure shall be made in such a way as to require the expenditure of other funds that have not been appropriate for that purpose. Helps me read out that one. So. Alright, so the money received from fees and charges for recreation, park service, and facilities shall be allowed. That would be your... So this year we were hoping to keep um, any donations from extra snack sales parents paid at the beginning of the year for summer rec, what they were going to pay for the summer. If they ran out of money, they were informed and they paid more. Several families had less than $10 left. There were only 5 to 10 families that had over $10, and of those they were offered a refund or not. Because we do not have this revolving rec fund currently, we have to send everybody on the list a check because we cannot carry it over year to year. This would solve that problem. This would allow us in the 2019 year, if it's approved by the voters, to take that money as a donation to help offset programming and um, staff fees if necessary. If you, this article, mentions, I believe this article, and maybe the other article mentions, can you use it to pay for staff? And 35, RSA 35B1 says that if the staff is doing a program, then it can help offset the staff costs. But it's more recommended to reduce the fees of the programs, if that makes sense. The this article does not go in depth into it, like the other article mentioned on um, resources. These funds cannot be used for capital um, projects. So the rec <coughs> committee could not use this money in the revolving fund to buy land, construct any sort of building or facility. That would have to be through the um, capital improvement plan and you could create a special fund through that. And then, um, so, 
my one of my questions was we have three hundred dollars in our budget for the 2019 season for or fiscal year for senior program that would offset senior activities can that money be part of this war article is it not to be part of this war article? because that's money raised by taxation I don't think that was the purpose of doing this. Yeah. What was the purpose of doing the historical one? Because you're mimicking what the historical people did. Wasn't it to be able to maintain what you raised by selling your note cards and instead of turning it back into the town? Isn't that, isn't that the same to purpose? It's funds to help in historical preservation. And this is and we were allowed to, to turn it up. So uh, the town had been, I think it might be a, suggesting it again this year, giving $200 a year mm -hmm. to that committee. Mm -hmm. That would go into the fund, too. Mm -hmm. so that, yeah. I mean, there isn't a line in the fund for Family Day to go put money into an account. All you have is your, your expenses of what you're anticipating that to be. So... But you have to raise the revenue to match what your expenses are. So anything over your expenses is going to be able to go into that account. If you're short, see, the, the, see that the, it's twofold. Because if you're short, the town's going to back you, and it's going to pick up the difference. But you're over, you don't want to give it to the town. You want to create this account so you have a buffer zone for next year. Right. So. I don't know if, if we should be putting money in from the budget into this account because I think it kind of sounds like a double dipping kind of situation, especially if you don't make your revenue, if you don't make your expenses are higher than what your revenue is, and then you're putting money away. That doesn't make sense to me. So that's my opinion. So my um, so like in the 2018. Fiscal year. You can't put. Yeah, I don't think you can put that. I don't think you can put general fund appropriations. The money received from fees and charges for recreational services shall be allowed to accumulate from year to year, and shall not be considered to be part of the general fund. Are you reading fund this? Balance. This is the second, second sentence. Sh yep. So and it's it's and fees and charges for recreational services and facilities shall be allowed to accumulate from year to year, and shall not be considered the general fund on assigned balance. What you're saying is we what you get in for tuition yeah. after invoices are paid. Would they be able to carry over and watch that? That's the purpose of this. Right. Yeah. So, so it's not, but you it's can't not put it in there and not use it right. towards the program. Right. So I'm not sure that that's So is, that's why we would well the this select board would have uh, uh, custody of the of the disbursement of the front backup saying when they be dispersed the treasury office. Well, we're going to do goes. the same thing we're going to do is, is, is Caroline's going to receive the cash that you receive for your tuition. She's going to pay the bills that you turn in. And then if there's a, a difference, that money can go in here. Right? So it wouldn't, it wouldn't be Caroline, it would be the treasurer. No, Caroline pays the bills, not the treasurer. Caroline processes the invoices and puts them in to get paid right, but, and prints the but, checks. But this, he signs them. But this rec revolving fund says the money received from fees and charges for recreation and park services shall be allowed to accumulate. It should be deposited into this fund and paid out of this fund. No. That way, well, that's what. That, that's what. I don't think that. Well, who, who's gonna? So, who's gonna fund it if you don't make enough? I cannot. Well, well, I can. We, the town of Ronsford is. So if the town of Ronsford is, the town of Ronsford has to receive the revenue and has to pay the bills. And then if there is a anything left over, then it moves into that fund. Isn't that what they're doing with the historical society? They paid your invoices, you give them the deposit, and if there's anything different, you, you get that moved to your account. Or your, isn't that what they're doing now? It should be the same. So the authorizing statute maybe different. I think it sounds like it's very different for 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 rectally volume funds versus the historical funds. So um, there, there isn't a lot of consistency in the 
that true to me. So. The state um, stat I noted it on the bottom here that the RSA, the government's recreation programs, is NHRSA 35-B. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And there are seven or eight points in that RSA um, that discuss that. Um, so if they're saying that you have to put the money in this this um, revolving fund and pay the bills out of it, they're saying that in this RSA? This is directly from the Department of Revenue and Administration. Yeah. It's allowed to be used for that. So so here's the enacting, the, the, I haven't read the enacting statute that's in, you know, setting all this up, but so this is, this is just the, the DRA's boilerplate language. If you want to set one up for your town, this is what you should be using. When you read the description from the Municipal Association, it says they can be used to do those things. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't mean that you have to put all the money in for, for a summer rep, wherever you put it, like $70,000 or whatever, whatever you what, take in. directly yeah. into the this fund and then, then funnel back out. Right. It's just saying, if there are fees received, you can put them in. And then if it's non lapsed so if there's money left over at the end of the year, if we want to start saving to offset next year's mm -hmm. recreational activities in the town, you're, you're able to do that. Mm -hmm. If not, it just goes back to, to uh, the general fund, you know, the offset tax would be spent on something else. So, so my, currently happens. My next question for the board, and I don't know if you can answer this, is it based on our individual line items that reflect different programs, or is it for the bottom line rec budget? Okay, so is it for our individual programs? Say what's it? You mean the, the fund. The fund. Okay. So if the fund, if we make money from Team Camp, yeah. but lose money in Camp Raleigh, yeah. is it the board's decision or the rec committee's decision or someone else's decision to how that money is spent? Your your line in the budget is recreation. It's a, a single line recreation. It's always been netted. So you can't have it both ways. You can't if you make if you make a profit on team and you lose money on um, Camp Raleigh, you have to offset each other. That's what we did last year. I mean that's what that's the intention. This recreation is one large budget consisting of several different sub Budgets. You did. You presented a team budget. You presented a camp rally budget. But in the bottom of the whole thing, it's recreation. Together. And you strive them to be recreational. I'm sorry. If we want them to be recreational. Well, yeah, but it's one budget, so yeah. you can't take the money on on team if it makes a profit, or vice versa. They both have to make a profit for us to. No, the end result has to be a profit. Right. If you had two thousand dollar profit on teen and you were short a thousand, you've gained a thousand dollars. And we can put that in. For and we can put that in there. But if you know, if, if you have two thousand profit in teen and you lose five thousand in Raleigh, you get nothing because you have to net them and you're still down, which the town picks it up. So you, do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So this is, you can't this, have it both ways. Yeah. This war, this this enacting. This, yeah, wow. this revolving fund um, makes a lot of sense. Oh, absolutely. In the sense, if if we're gonna if we run in the black and we want to save money for the next year, so we can offset the cost, mm -hmm. so we don't have to take more on taxation, it makes a lot of sense. I mean, folks just need to understand that if just because you make I don't know, let's say it costs seventy thousand dollars to run rent, and just what Denise said, if you make two thousand dollars more. In, Young kids and lose a thousand dollars on the older kids. It's only a thousand dollars. Or if you lose two and three thousand on both of them, you're out of luck and nothing goes in. So as long as people understand that, and it's only if, only if. So we need to figure out who, uh, who is the person that has. Uh, I can't word. Who has the authority? That's not the one I'm looking for. Who has the? Um, Love to take money in. Who has the? Uh, well, the treasurer has control of the funds. Yeah, but, the town but we have. Um, but who authorizes the treasurer to write right. the checks? Well, 
Who authorizes it now? Who has? Uh, the select board does via the rec committee. The rec committee makes the request. Oh, Treasurer Shaw. Yeah. Caroline. Yeah. yeah. I mean, she's the point of contact. She receives the cash. She receives agency. the invoices. We're on the board agency. Okay. It's been a while ago. Yeah. So she would come to us if there was a problem and that needed to be addressed and the funds removed from this account if there was accounts. But. Yeah. So. The treasurer shall have custody of all monies in the fund and shall pay out the state only upon order of the Recreation or Park Commission or other board or body designated by the local legislative body. No further legislative body approval is required. So we would want that to say the treasurer shall have, we would want to customize this. The treasurer shall have have custody of all monies in the fund and shall pay out the same only upon order of the select board. Now, does the treasurer have uh, the authorization in all trust funds? No. Oh, re evolving. Is it to have? It's because I think it's because it's, it's a revolving fund. That's what. Yeah. What is the historical society? Is that a revolving or a trust? It's a trust. It's a okay. trust. So why are you going revolving versus trust? Because that's what the legislature allows them. Only for rec. Is it yeah. only revolving? That's, that's what I'm saying. There's no okay. consistency. Okay. All they, right. We can only. They can only. We as a collective can only do what they. Okay. Congress tells us. Unless there's another one, Celia, that you guys didn't see, but you got this from the DRA, right? So they would have put them both there together. You know. Yeah. Um, okay. And some communities cap this. I don't know if you had wanted to think about capping it so that it doesn't get too large. I don't think it's going to be an issue. <laughs> but it'll just be me. Maybe we'll we just do. have more opportunity to <laughs> offer more programs. I mean, well, that's yeah. the bottom line. Or to offset these programs yeah. to through their taxation. So. so I'm assuming, if I understand this correctly, if after the program, after summer rec is over and you do a fundraiser in the winter, the money, the profit for that fundraiser in the winter can go in this revolving fund. Is that if, right? If we have broken even from the camps. But, if well, no, that. Okay, so we're mixing two things. Ask that question. Okay, because once camp is over and all the money is turned in and all of the things for summer rec is over, if you did something in December or January and you had a fundraiser for for another opportunity, that shouldn't affect the summer rec program. This is distinctly a fundraiser for a particular issue. It has nothing to do with the summer rec program. Okay. If you, I mean, the idea is to have some opportunities to do some fundraising. So the rec committee wants to raise money going right. to the revolving right. fund. Right. But if she was saying, I think she's mi mixing it up with what, what I was saying. What I'm saying is from July to August, all of the money that you spend and receive for that program in July and August has to get paid by your revenue. Yep. And if there's anything left, it can go in this revolving fund. That's right. Right. But if there isn't, you're not, you can't get anything else within the budget. However, you shouldn't have a problem fundraising for another type of program and have that affect what someone rec did for you. Do you see where I'm going with this? So if I'm not talking rec correctly. Oh, no. oh, oh okay. Fine. So if someone rec is said and done. It's said and done and did not have a deficit. We or had a deficit. Or had a deficit. Okay, that is summer rec. But if you did something in December or January and something trying to raise funds so for like, another purpose other than the summer rec program. So like this is recreation. Like winter rec yes. or senior yes. programs. Right. Right. That could those funds you're saying those funds could go in this fund? That would be my understanding because it's not the summer rec program. So that leads me to my next question. At the end of 2018, there was money left in the winter rec budget that was not used. This, in the 2018 you can't season, take you can't take that 18. went into the general fund. But if we do, if we have money left over in 2019, like we did in 2018, would that go into the revolving fund if passed? It's from monies received from fees and charges. That's it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. no, okay. yeah. Even so, fundraisers, I don't think you can. Yeah, fundraisers, I think that's tricky. I don't know. Really? I, yeah, I don't think you can. Well, that's why I'm looking at the enacting clause. Well, that's, that's unfortunate because that's the only way that they're going no, to be agree. able to that that would be raise money. A wonderful place to. So, right. the, I believe the second article that 
I did not print has some of those special clauses, and it reminded me of, like, um, if anybody's been to the Deerfield Fair, that I believe the Deerfield Fairgrounds are a municipal holding or a state holding, and the Deerfield community rents it from the state. They can charge fees and put them in a special account. I don't know if it's this account or another account that's explained in the article. Um, they can charge admission and set up a special account where that those fees would go to pay for maintenance and repairs to buildings that are already established. So like if one of the Deerfield Fair buildings needed a sprinkler system, they could charge admission to the Deerfield Fairgrounds and set that money aside in a special account just for the purpose of putting in a sprinkler system. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. So what you're saying is you have to set up special funds, different types of funds for different types of purposes. That is right. my understanding. That, so because that example is, is to me is not like when we when we were talking about having a winter carnival or doing something, um, you know, some other activities to raise funds to help offset or in, or to increase our programs. You have to make sure that you can put that money in there after after not summer not summer rack because that's funded by town if you don't make your money. It's going to accomplish what you really want to do. Yeah. It's going to accomplish part of what you want to do. Yeah. So my question is, for senior program, we're sending out a survey in the next couple of days mm -hmm. asking people what they want. Mm -hmm. One of the options is meals and exercise programs. Mm -hmm. If we decide that we want to have a meal and we charge our seniors $3 for the meal to help offset it, mm -hmm. and then we end up making a profit on it throughout the year, does though that profit that we make on the senior meals go into this account? I would say yes, yes because it's, it's different. It's it's different than some rep. It's because well, any so because the town is not paying anything towards it. We don't want to get hung up on on just some rec. It's a recreation revolving okay. fund for your rec all your recreational activities in the town. But the difference is the summer rec is supported by the town if you fail to meet right. the full amount of the expenses. Right. right. But, but the, the others are not. The question is if, if they set up a, a lunch somewhere mm -hmm. uh, at the non-existent community center. Uh, sorry, I'm not, not trying to be So uh, let's say we do it at the fire station. You know, they, they, they like to do their pancake breakfast. They want to host that for you. Uh, and you charge three bucks. So I'll say whatever, spaghetti dinner or lunch or whatever. Oh, the freight cost. After you've paid out all your bills, there's money left over. If this were in existence, that money could be deposited into this fund mm -hmm. to help offset the next one if you want to do mm -hmm. or whatever activities in, in recreation. But currently, if there's money left over, it just goes in the general fund to be spent on anything. So. And I believe there's a line item in the budget for senior programming for $300 to get us started. If the idea but is... But I don't think you can move that to this fund. Exactly. If that's what your question it's is. only you from fees and charges. So that, my understanding is, is that $300 would get us started, be able to provide, let's say we're doing a meal, provide the initial um, food that we need to purchase yes, sure. for the meal. Yes. Yeah. And then the $3 per person reimburses us, and then at the end of the year, if there's a profit based on... Are, then when it goes in if there. you made 60 no, bucks off this lunch, um, but you would go into this fund. Well, I don't know, would it? Because town town funded the $300, just like just like summer rec. Do you have to pay back the 300 and anything over the 300 would go into the fund? I don't know. That's why I'm asking. I would think that you would have to reimburse the town any contributions the town makes to anything to do with recreation. To my understanding, when we started, it was just yeah, some rider right. that had to be level funded. That's true. That's, that's true. You're absolutely because we we get family fund that gets a don it's considered their town's donation to the fireworks. Yeah. So it so, well. has been for years. So maybe maybe the senior uh, program is different. 
Is that the expectation is not to become level funded for senior programming, only for a summer rep? It could be. It could, it could, could be. be. It could, could be. be. But I mean, we're talking, if you're talking $300 versus mm -hmm. 70000 I mean, there's obviously the difference. But I don't think so. that, you know, I, I don't think that they would hold it the, anything in the recreation budget to be refunded. Because I don't think that was the intent, especially no, for the, Family Day and fireworks. It was yeah. the intent. Well, and it's just a, a board policy. Yeah, of yeah. the rec department, mm -hmm. the rec folks. Mm -hmm. There's no written policy that says you have to do that. I mean, I can't imagine you would have a program the next year if you refuse to do it. But mm -hmm. I mean, um, so and you all want that. You that you do a very good job of trying to. And I think didn't happen, so. we would, um, some of the voters should be very frustrated if we did not. Right. Attempt. Of course. So, right. Of well, course. also you're utilizing a town staff to do your bookkeeping for you, where the other, like senior rep, uh, the senior one and, and anything else, you're not using the staff to do. I mean, yes. Caroline put a lot of hours right. into the summer rec program, but with pay and, and paying all of the bills and stuff, which I would assume you wouldn't have that level of bookkeeping services required from that office for the other, for senior, um, you know, it's just not enough. So I would, I would say that that one probably isn't at the same requirement as the summer rec does. I, well, okay, this makes a lot of sense. Now that we've talked with you, to me, right? so here's the question. Um, now I want to ask this. Last was it just last year when we did the historical mm -hmm. one? Twenty eighteen. Mm -hmm. It wasn't an appropriation. There was an appropriation type of thing with transferring existing funds into that fund. So it had to go to the budget committee. Right? It went to the budget committee. So this doesn't have any money attached to it. This is saying giving license to put money in eventually. But there isn't money that's. Mm -hmm. So I think that the actual warrant said transfer existing whatever. I, I, it's I just didn't and bring some my book in. It's $350 so or something. Um, mm -hmm. And that's probably why it had to go. But this doesn't have any money attached. Now, the only reason I bring this up is because. The meeting on Wednesday, right? Um, so, um, so we. So the, the the warrant has to be. The warrant has to be finalized on the twenty eighth. This would more than likely require a public hearing. So if it's if it's brought up by the select board, it would require a public hearing. If it's by a petition. It doesn't require a public hearing. I don't believe it. With the only exception, I think, with petition more articles is uh, SB21 requires a uh, public hearing. But that's written in the statute. I just looked at the statute, it doesn't say it. So, so this I, is the problem we face, Sylvia. I don't know if we have time to put this on the warrant okay. as a select board. I'm not saying I don't want you to do we it. We haven't done any warrants yet. But he's saying we might have to have a public hearing for it, and when do we schedule well, a public hearing? Well, why won't we have all of them on a public hearing? Because all the other warrant articles that we're suggesting are, are, are have, have or will have through um, zoning the requirements that they have to do and they're following that. Oh, they're hosting public hearings on that. And the others are CIP. Really. We've already, and that will be the public hearing is on Saturday. Okay. But the the nuisance ordinance rather than the public hearing. Yeah, that's on the uh, 14th. 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 It's a busy night on the 14th. And I don't think we have time to have it noticed properly. Mm -hmm. This notice? Yeah. You have to notice every warrant? No, or you, you're having, a public, public, well, you're having yeah. a public hearing anyway. Why can't it take you back with the other We've already sent that notice out. And you listed them? Yes. Yeah. Okay. I, when I was well, they were on the paper, actually. When I was researching this, yeah. the town of Durham, I believe, was one of the towns who has okay. gone through this. Yeah. And I did not have a chance to thoroughly read it. Uh -huh. So I don't know. They might have some guidance on whether or not they had a public hearing. They had a public hearing on the... Uh, um, Historical. 
Okay. And they lasted all of maybe two minutes. No one mm -hmm. asked any questions. Mm -hmm. That was that. And there were three people in the audience. I would, and they're all sitting here tonight. So okay. I don't recall if they were or not. But if the select board goes through this, do we have time to notice it for the 21st, which is the weekend of Martin Luther King's birthday? Probably. If six. That's the night we're finalizing the warrant. So we probably can. That's, That's what folks want to do. So That's a suggestion. Well, the other group is find 25 position. people to sign it tomorrow and turn it back into a Yeah, because then it's for the 8th, right? Mm -hmm. It's the deadline for a petition mark tomorrow. I'll sign. Mm -hmm. All right, so the treasurer shall have custody of the money the and I can only upon the order of the select board, what should say. Or other body designated by the local mm -hmm. legislative mm -hmm. board. So take out parts of commissions and leave in, or other body designated? No, just a, uh, designated by the, uh, by order of the select board, period. And okay. sentence. Full stop. And should no further action the legislative body be removed to? Nope, that's just saying, so no, take that period. <laughs> leave in the, leave in the no further legislative body amendment. Uh, these funds may be only expended for recreation purposes to the now the rest of the state is safe. That would be, now it's not going to be easy to speak because you're going to find 25 people tomorrow, but that would be the easiest way to do it. But if not, if the board wants to be the sponsor of it, we can, we can probably notice it now on the 21st. Okay. Any other day tomorrow? Or is it end of? By five o'clock. Well, who do I turn into at five o'clock? Is the Kate? She's not going to be there. Kate's office hours are nine to one tomorrow. If it's the last day, though, it's not five o'clock. Yeah, we're supposed to stay open until five o'clock on the last day to submit petition to the army. I believe. All right, so do we want to send this forward then? We'll, we'll, we'll include it in our warrant. 21st, public hearing on the 21st. Okay. And the I'm right. asking the board, do we want to do that? No, I think that's, um, yeah, if, if we can get a notice, um, like you said, I, I doubt very strongly it's, it's going to be an hours long public hearing, but we should. I'm good with that. Okay, we'll do that. You don't have to worry about it. Okay. Okay, so okay. I'll have I'll just public hearing. Public hearing. Um, 121. 19. Appetite? Mm -hmm. Six feet. Oh, no, that's right. It's a holiday that day. Are you working that day? You know, I'm not. I'm not. Are you working on that day? Not either. You want to come in early? You're going to get to leave earlier, so. What do you mean by earlier? Like five. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Yep. Six. If we are, if we come in by five, we might have to be at home by seven for dinner. So you'll leave dinner, but bring a snack. No, I'm, I'm fine. We just have to make sure that we're not impairing anybody who, mm -hmm. in the working field, is unable to attend. So I wouldn't go any earlier than five. No, I wouldn't either. So can can you make it with her? Sure. I mean, I, 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 I might actually be at home in time for. So, this is what's so the so, okay, one of first. The, okay, but hold on. Stop for a second. Are you available on the 21st? Yeah, you have to come with me. Oh, sorry. sorry. <laughs> Looking past you. I'm sorry, Miles. I'm not articulating myself very well. You plan on being here on the 21st time. Can you be here for five? I can be here for five. Okay, we're going to just, we're going to, we're going to notice the public hearing for like five o'clock and then the start of the meeting following the public hearing. Yeah. At, oh, five our meeting? at like okay. 5 15. Okay, and then just get into it and get it done. Yeah. It's going to be an abbreviated agenda that evening. It's not going to be a full agenda. It's going to be to deal with the warrant. Okay. It's a holiday. We don't have to be on holidays. Okay. All right. This is public hearing and the warrant. Unless one of the chiefs or the road agent is an emergency, it's sort of going to take out okay. the business from. All right, so 5, 5 p.m. on 21st for a public hearing, and then following immediately afterwards, it's like we're meeting. Yes. I'm going to put it on the calendar. Okay. So and thank you very much. I was just thinking of a couple of our committee members around the town. Okay. No problem.
it, it is a truly if this passes could be very beneficial to the town because we could be saving money and offsetting for the next year. You know, it's, it's not a, it's not a, it's not a, it's not a way to divert general funds. So it's, it's a huge open up for that. Anyway, it'll be part of it. So I'm just putting that in a public hearing. And the rec committee will meet next week and next week. This will be on the agenda. The next time. Involving, oh, I think involving some time.
All right, so um, I'm going to have that sent out tomorrow unless there's any objections. No objections. Okay. Okay, Budget Committee Secretary posting. I am told that we still don't have one. Mm -hmm. uh, I did see there was an email that went out again tonight mm -hmm. requesting folks to come forward and uh, give it their time. And they'll be compensated. Hopefully, we'll hear from someone. Uh, town administrator position. I think in one of these folders there's a letter. In one of these folders there is a letter. I asked to print it out. Probably in this one. Given last week's last Thursday's meeting, um, what became very clear to me is that there needs to be one person who is the repository of information, coordinating efforts between departments, and I'm going to include us as a department just for a moment, between this board, police department, fire department, all the departments. And to me, in, in the ad hoc committees that we appoint, that doesn't seem like it. Not everything seemed to, 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 to mesh last week. And there are deadlines that are rapidly approaching um, that we could have missed. So I am proposing that we appoint Caroline as our our town administrator starting today, the seventh, right? Starting today. Um, with the uh, uh, Understanding that she'll be paid on uh, only for 40 hours per week, budgeted um, your current equivalent, equivalent of your current hour, hourly hourly wage, will continue to be paid as a salary based on 40 hours per week until the budget is approved by the voters or until such time the select board otherwise reallocates the funding for this purpose. So that is to say that she's not going to be paid the um, the amount of money. Um, that is budgeted, that will be the current salary. Um, and that will be a, uh, uh, the current job description is comprehensive and demands more of your time than one person can do without additional staff. The select board acknowledges this and that there are times of the year when the duties described in the job description demand more than 40 hours per week. The intent of the board is in offering this position to you is that you will manage the most critical functions within approximately 40 hours per week until such time as the budget funding and support staff is passed anticipate that there will be functions within the job description which will likely which will likely not be fulfilled. Uh, the select board is aware of the deficiency and holds you harmless as we neither expect nor demand that you will fulfill all functions prior to the hiring and training of sufficient support staff. To this end, the select board shall review the duties outlined in the job description within the context of the level of support staff six months from the date of this letter and shall make adjustments to the job description and or salary as deemed appropriate upon or agreed upon by public parties. I think what I witnessed last week, I don't want to go through again for another week. We have someone who is, in effect, doing this job currently and should have that type. Mm -hmm. Now, it will be up to the voters, of course, to, to decide whether or not that position will be funded in the end. And um, if it's not, then we will have to uh, we will have to make other decisions in March. But uh, I think, in all fairness, the person who's been Thrust into this position, whether she asked for it or not, I think we should be offering this to her. I agree. Okay. Right. So, what I would like then is a motion uh, appointing, now she doesn't have to accept this, so, or um, these conditions, so this is what I would suggest. Um, that we have a motion appointing um, Caroline um, Kendall as the uh, Temporary Town Administrator for the Town of Rollinsford, effective today, um, with the conditions outlined in the letter. The motion. Uh, I'll second it. Okay. Any other discussion? Uh, we don't want to talk to the next. That's why you need to. I got it. I'm all set. Yeah, I feel like we've we've talked this up and down, and I I wholeheartedly agree. It's, Time and she's already doing the fulfilling the role. 
Okay, and then if there's no other discussion, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? And deliver this to her tonight. All right. And so with that, she'll be attending, um, if she accepts it, I should say, um, she should be attending the uh, budget committee meeting on Wednesday evening. Okay. We'll be staffing the, the imaginary meeting I'm pointing at down the street on Saturday, uh, the hearing on Saturday. And I would assume we'll be coming to these meetings as well. So, anyways. Will you send me a copy? I certainly will. I got through all right. Okay. Stormwater Committee Meeting. Uh, Paul Cazalt has been attending, uh, if you don't know, Mr. Cazalt, maybe you don't know, those on Heritage Drive, he's an engineer. Yep. Um, he has been attending the Stormwater Coalition meetings for us and uh, is fine doing that, but he would like us to call a meeting of the Stormwater Committee yeah. that we've established in town, the advisory committee. Um, we have not appointed, we have, I don't believe, new members of that advisory committee. So there was Mr. Cazal, um Suzanne had offered to stay on it. I don't know if she's still interested. And Mike LaPointe, I believe, was also an engineer, was on that committee previously. Um, I would um, be interested in a motion to um, uh, uh, to reappoint those three people and make them let us know if they don't want to do it. I know Paul wants to do it. Basically, he wants to get this committee set up because there are um, there are opportunities, I guess, um, that. Um, through the Stormwater Coalition that we could be taking advantage of, but the community needs to do some work, I guess, to take advantage of those things, is my understanding. Um, that's why you'd like to call them back together. So, was Susan on it because she was a delegate from the Board of Selectmen, or was she just on it as a resident? She wasn't an official, she was on it because she was interested in it, and it, okay. and it had to do with the work that she was engaged in as a board. Okay, so it so doesn't it, require a board member? I'm happy to attend as a board member. But we can appoint <laughs> England as our <laughs> appoint if you'd like to. Okay. I don't I don't believe it was solely because she was a board member. I think that was probably half of it. I think it was also because she was also very interested in it. Okay. So, um, okay. So, so, so we'll, 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 <laughs> you, you don't want to wrestle for it, should No. So we'll... we'll Move to a point. Yes, you are. What point? Another time, that is. I do a point. And I got to try to remember this one because I'll call. A-Z-A-U-L-T, maybe? That's close enough. Yes. And that ex officio, who say, smile. Okay. Is there a second for that? I'll make the motion. That's out of order, Mr. Chair, unless you call that out of order. Is there a second? Are we going to second that, Denise? I'll second it. Alright. Um, we've already volunteered for it, Miles, so don't back out now. <laughs> any, uh, any discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 I will let um, Caroline know that those folks have been appointed and hopefully they still want to do it. Policy review. Um, I, I put welfare on there because of a discussion we had. Um, Last week, um, or the week before that, uh, um, so we wanted to review the uh, the um, yeah we should uh, which is interesting. We have the comment from our um, secretary. That's what we did. Allison has a master. You're having a divorce in one. Colony to see. That's not a yeah. peak. It's my about. neck. It's your neck. Your neck of what? Your seat. Oh, okay. cursive. All right. All right. Fair enough. It's lovely. So, Allison Kelly is a uh, hydrologist, right? You know what she does for she, a living? I don't yeah. know if she does it for a living, but she has so. a master's in hydrology. I think she you need does. to use so it. Maybe she might be willing to do it maybe too. Reach out to well, we can ask her, okay? We can appoint her afterwards, but these folks were on it previously, so I don't want to disappoint Allison if she doesn't want to do it, but she might. She's good. Kitchen, I want to get away. Um, but isn't she the one that's on the 
Is there water? She's the treasure. Oh, she's the treasure. Yeah, yes. she's got her own hands. Oh, all right, so yeah. maybe not. Well, Mike, I mean, Mike, the point, sure. Mike was on it when he was a, a commissioner, yeah. too, so yeah. maybe. We can ask her. I'll, yeah. um, all right, maybe. I forgot she yeah, she does. Um, she's the treasure. Is she? The treasure? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So, uh, maybe false review. So I just put Welker on this to we could review the policy after. Uh, we're done with, uh, with the budget stuff. So, thank you. All right, town administration, board member activities. Denise, what do you have going on this week? Uh, I have budget uh -huh. and the public hearing. And, and that's it. Um, planning board tomorrow night. Oh, anything big coming on the agenda? Um, we're having a public hearing to address our zoning ordinances. Zoning ordinances. Do I need to do that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't, I don't think so. We don't need to. Okay. It's their public hearing. Right, right, right. I didn't know if that would be helpful. I would. Well, you're the board rep, so yeah. I don't need to. Um, and then, uh, yeah, it's just the public hearing on the 12th. So the only thing that, um, I, yeah, I've got public hearing on the 12th and yeah. working on the Yeah. So, um, jump back up just for a second. I'm sorry. So then, under A, four A, Roman three, where it's notice of meetings, filing period. Um, also, uh, starting to work on the um, sort of the very, 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 and I mean very, like a use rough outline of a voter's guide. Mm. Just uh, putting it together, like based on warrant or like numbers. And, I don't know. I don't even have the numbers. It just got to, I don't know what order they will ultimately be. But right. Just sort of the framework of what it was based. What it looked like in the last few years. Mm -hmm. Just putting that together. Just so I'm working on that too. What is and the? What, oops, sorry, sorry, go ahead. What's the? We're gonna, what's the time frame to get that? That's gets mailed to you. That would be mailed out before the deliberative session, which is the fifth. I no no sorry 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 before the election. Back up the election. Uh, so, uh, before March 12th, isn't that the election? Maybe some people hope I got the date wrong. I should have that. I don't know. March 12th. March 12th. How about that? Still, I'm going sometime. Okay. So, before March 12th. Okay. I would say two or three weeks before that. The, the deliberative session is, that is February 2nd? Say yes. The 9th. The 9th. The schools is the second, I think, right? Okay. We went first. We went first? All right. Ours is the second, and our backup is the ninth. Aren't they doing this on the Tuesday night? Yes. Yeah. This is the fifth. So ours is Groundhog Day. So there's an irony there. Yeah. Um, okay, so it's February 2nd at 9 a.m. at the grade school. Uh, and then our fallback date, in case it snows. That was the ninth. Well, we said good Nope. We had to move it, remember, on because Thursday, it? it's Wednesday the 6th. Wednesday. Okay. Uh, that was the, we, we were originally we going to go the 5th. Yeah. And then the school Lots wanted to go. Yeah. Okay. So if their backup day is the 9th, it's, it's a tight schedule. Mm -hmm. So it's, they're used to it, I think, by now, or should be. And they have a, the uh, army of staff over at the SAU office that keeps them in line. So, you know, yeah, yeah, exactly. So, or at least we'll keep track of the county. So we're learning. Steep learning curve this time. We're trying. So, um, who writes the um, selectmen's um, uh, notice in the annual report? Well, I think I'm going to have to do it, but um, we can be done by committee. You know, all three of us. No, I on. just wanted. I, I think, think I'll, I'll probably end up doing it as chair. I certainly can help if you need to. That would be awesome. Um, no? Yep. The other thing is. Um, who and when do you make a decision about who it's going to be dedicated to this year? Uh, I've already decided in my mind, but I want to talk to you all about it, and we haven't gotten to that point yet. Okay. I thought it would be appropriate to dedicate it to the uh, But we have two selectmen that passed away this year, Joe and Mr. Janados. Could we do two? We could. Yeah. One. We certainly could. Wait, did, well, did Joe serve as a selectman? It said it in his obit, did, but I never saw where it. 
It's a joke. It said in his a bit that he was the selectman, but they, he certainly <laughs> served many capacities for many, many, many years. So I mean, I don't know what the what the um, procedure is in choosing. We can certainly dedicate it to both. Both that have been outstanding. Oh, and for sure. Very hard work. Not a slide to Mr. Tanina's events. So then. Um, So the town clerk prepares the, uh, the town report along with the select board. Um, uh, we have certain statutory responsibilities. Mm -hmm. She has certain statutory responsibilities for the report. So I'm not sure. I think it's our responsibility for that part, but I'll check. Or it may just be silent and we just always have the board just have the time dedicated to Lewis. No, 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 I think it's appropriate. No, 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 no. I think it's very appropriate. It's not even really appropriate. I couldn't. I can't. It's nuts. I don't want to see you. C. U. A. T. C. Only you have to read that. <laughs> no, I just did it backwards. Right? A comes before the U. So. Yep. Yes. <laughs> Ah, uh, there's a reason I took Latin. Every, every, every letter is actually pronounced. Uh, there's no, uh, there's no clue. It's very original. Okay. Um, building permits. Unless there are other activities we want to talk about. No, sir. Yes, sir. You want to go home? Okay, permit number 2018113 for a uh, bath. Addition, new boiler, LP gas, um, on Rollins Road, um, 175 is the fee, and it's been signed by Tom Clark. Permit 2018-113, it's good to go. So we're going to grant and it. And what number, Rollins? 620. 620. That's H-back work. This year. I was going to say, we can tell next year, but this is already on next year. Okay. Yeah. Sign up, pass it by. Okay. All right, we have purchase order 1579 for IDS from the town clerk for 600 dog licenses for $236. That's the invoice behind us. Okay. Is there a second? A second. All right. First order one five seven nine has been moved and seconded for dog licenses for two hundred thirty six dollars. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed. All right. I'll take four of those now. <laughs> four. Well, four dogs. Oh, small. Holy moly. Okay. Small. Oh no. Right. You want to say it? Tell me. Yeah, I actually. Do. I have a petition warrant article, warrant okay. article here for the residence tax. All right. Shall rescind the provision of RSA 72 colon 1 dash C, which authorizes any town or city to elect not to access levy and collect a residence tax. If the majority of these, those voting on the appropriation vote yes, RSA 72 dash colon 1 dash C shall apply within the city and town on April 1st following the approval of the question. And they have they have 28 signatures and they're saying they're all current residents and registered voters. All right, so the petition warrant article has been uh, certified by the town clerk that all of these folks are current residents and registered voters. Oh, there you go. You recall that the uh, tax collector was hoping that we would be able to do this, but we cannot. It has to be done by petition. And apparently, someone was not. So, there you have it. So, we will. We don't do anything with it. We, will, we have acknowledged it. Mm -hmm. We will include it on the warrant. Do I have a sticky one? Oh, 
Bob in that part there. Oh, okay. okay. I think we know one. Sorry, it's crossed off. It's probably someone's name, so. No, intentionally. It's on camera. I didn't do it intentionally. So. Just drawing a line for my notes. This is why I didn't have the sticky note. <laughs> <laughs> the next time I'm going to be the home panel. Um, received. For. 121 19 meter. So we don't forget to include another warrant when we finalize the warrant and ask the warrant. So. That's all I have. All right. From the correspondence folder, we have um, a letter from the Rollinsford Water and Sewer District advising us of a 12% rate increase um, from our rate filling cycle to changes we are facing with our aging infrastructure. Complex treatment processes, staffing requirements, and overall financial picture. It goes on and on and talks about it. 12%? 12%. I was hoping you said 12 and not 20. Um, I'll take it to the bells. Oh, the bell. oh, yeah. To the bearer of great news. That's what I like. It's more of a little thing, but it talks about struggling to meet EPA standards, and uh -huh. etc. So this must be, this is under the old. That's what. Okay. It says the 12% was on the, on the fourth quarter. Wait, 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 let me tell you what they thought we budgeted for, because we should increase that if, if before we need the budget committee again. Okay, so sewer, 260 a year for town hall. So that's the, that's the um, so it's 145, so that's, well, that's, that's the increase. We have 260. I'm sorry. Sorry. And so 520. For the year. For the year. So this has, yeah, five substantial. Yep. But for t sewer only. And then the water is of Town Hall 350 for the year. It's still not enough. Well, it's going to be 400 and something. So, let me just use a map that I can't do in my head. Let me pull up my handy dandy coat. Do we have it broken out by water and by sewer separately? Oh, yes, in the this town? is the budget, yeah. It's not just all together, right? No, not sewer water town, water okay. town. But we should increase all of these lines so. before Wednesday's meeting. What do we have budgeted for water at the moment for the town? For the town, for water, 350 Okay, we so level it's going to go up $52 over the year just for water. So. That yeah, but that's going to go, does it say it's going to go up again? It does not mm -hmm. say that. It said, they said to budget 40% is what they told me. Well, and this is actually, as I read Increase. it, it's not exactly clear. So find your water and sewer bill and close for the fourth quarter. We have implemented a 12% increase from our last billing cycle. Is that, is that in that, or is it in the I don't know what the... Is reflected. I can tell you that as a residential customer, um, I pay more than this per quarter for, for both of these things. It was 260, I think, or 250 something. So. But you might have had a, a more usage than the town hall. I never made it to our minimum. Any minimum though? Never. We never made it to the minimum ever. But she, close. But what they're saying is wow. it should have gone up. It should go up 40 percent. So. So there's more. It's more I think it's going to probably be higher next bill. Mm -hmm. So that's why I'm saying, I'm not saying yes. it's to bemoan what I had to pay. Yeah. I'm just thinking it's going to be a lot more. So what's 40% 40, what's 40 of 520? One more time. 520 times 30%. Yeah, $208. We should increase it by $208 then. For, for uh, sewer for town hall, and then water, 350 and that's 40%. So we're talking less than $1,000. Okay, but that would it, but you're going to have to pay it, so you're going to have to take yeah, it from I something think, else. So you don't want to increase it. I think. Well, I think that you would be okay with that, to be honest. I don't think that's. Yeah. I think for next year, when we, when when the budget is being prepared, um, um, the actual should be included. But I think at this stage, I don't think you need to go back to the last. I mean, you can bring it up. I don't. I don't. I can't object. bring it up unless you approve it. I can't tell them to increase unless the board approves the increase. Yeah, I, I think that there's probably enough um, 
room in the existing budget that we probably could absorb that increase. I, I would hope, but if, if, if you don't feel comfortable doing yeah. that. So we're talking 208 on sewer and 100 and something on. For each water. Highway, quickly, uh, oh, highway town right. and fire. Right. So let's think about that. Where are that's right. So, so what is, let's, let's go back and look at that. You know what's hilarious? I bring in, I schlepped this town report every week in and out of that one. And the one week I don't bring it in, I've needed like uh, at least six times to this go. Okay, so, um, all right. town hall, the garage, fire station, and the transfer station all have the same dollar amount, 350. So 350 times, what was that, four? Yes. Times 0.4. That's five hundred and sixty dollars. So five sixty. That's for. And then sewer is the only town hall is the only one, and that's five hundred and twenty. That's two hundred eight. So when you're looking at five sixty. You're looking at seven hundred and sixty eight dollars. So I think we've. Um, I'm preparing the um, for the. PowerPoint right now, mm -hmm. and I think there are there are some substantial, especially if we think about insurance, staggering number, so many other increases that um, I think that we're just going to have to find this seven hundred and eighty dollars, eight hundred dollars, somewhere in the budget. It would be what I would prefer, but. Want to, if you want, if you feel more comfortable going to the budget committee and saying, "Look, at least having the conversation," I, I'm fine with that. I'm authorizing you to ask them to to revise the budget by I just closed it seven hundred and eighty dollars. Seven sixty. Seven sixty. Yeah. Before I forget it again. If that's what you'd like to do, and that they were. I mean, I already right talked now. to the budget committee that would not bring it to the board. But if you don't want to increase it, that's fine. So are they expecting it then? I already discussed it with them when when sewer and water presented their budget, that okay. it's like that the budget is not correct based gotcha. because nobody knew gotcha. how much it was going to go up. Okay, so... And we still don't. They're saying 40% now. It depends what happens from now until next, well, this year. It could go up even more based on... They don't know. That's the well, problem. They're just... They well, they're just randomly going with 40% right now. They don't know what it's going to actually cost. And they, they can adjust the rate every quarter? Mm -hmm. They have the right. Yeah, okay, then, all right. So I would say it might be wise to go and ask the budget committee for an additional $800 or $768 to offset the, what we know now to be the reality. Which is the 40%. Correct. Because they, at the meeting, which was, what, two weeks ago? Two weeks ago, I asked them what the new rates were going to be, and they didn't know. We said, we're telling you, we'll tell you piece it by 40%. And that's residents and business. I mean, it's... budget by 40%, which is a total of 780? 68. 768. Second thought. Okay. So the, the motion is to ask that the uh, town's water and sewer lines um, in the budget be increased to reflect a total of $768. Mm -hmm. And then you'll you'll break it out with the... Yep. Okay. yep. Well, what well, Caroline will do for the new sure. so we have the new numbers to the... Okay. Yeah. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Speed. All right. Well, the good news we have in that folder piles. <laughs> we have our tobacco free policy. Oh, yeah. Uh, which I think has had the wording changed. Um, 
Yeah. Town of Ron's Rural Assist employees who want to quit smoking by helping them access tobacco cessation programs and materials. Um, I think we've read this and we've discussed. So it was. A, it's not an ordinance. That was my my mistake that evening. I don't know what I was thinking that late in the evening. I don't know why Suzanne always says she shouldn't do anything after eight o'clock. So the brain fries after talking for an hour. But, um, it's a policy of the select board. It's not an ordinance. Mm -hmm. So technically, we don't have to have a public hearing. I always like to shift the slide side on the side of caution with these things, and I think we probably should still have one. But if you all don't want to have one and just move forward with it, I'm only one person. But I think that um, we can add it on the 21st. No. We could um, we could deal with it after um, after the twenty the next month after the twenty eighth yeah. which is yeah. so we could post it for the twenty eighth to the public hearing start at six thirty mm -hmm. and then we'll start the meeting immediately following mm -hmm. if that works for for us all yep. Yep. That's good. we'll move it to public hearing and right. I think that's a great idea. a little more breathing room because my uh, my hope and desire is that we'll have everything finalized on the 21st for the warrant. But the deadline is the 28th mm -hmm. according to the statute. So we have that, that, that buffer of a week if we need it. So I'm hoping we don't have to run it after the 21st. Mm -hmm. so we have plenty to worry about. We have plenty more work to do, but we won't have any more finalizing, hopefully. So we can do it that night. And, So the sense. public hearing will be at 6.30? Yes, on the 28th. And then um, yeah. we'll immediately go into the meeting after that. Um, from the New Hampshire DRA, um, Equalization of Municipal uh -huh. Assessment Data Certificate, uh -huh. we, the undersigned, do hereby certify that the assessment and sales information provided by us on the New Hampshire Mosaic Equalization System has been thoroughly reviewed by this board and is complete and accurate to the best of our knowledge. And we are all expected to sign well, I'm not going to lie to anyone. I haven't thoroughly examined it, so I don't really want to sign it yet, but I would like to go in and look at it. It's actually been prepared by um, Sir Roberge from Avatar. So, but um, I would like to go into... Uh, is that, that the portal? Yeah. No, we can do it next week. We can do it. Yeah, it doesn't have to. Oh, let me just try to read one. It doesn't have to. It doesn't have to. It doesn't have to. It has to be. I don't want to miss. All right, so. Um, do you want to put a sticky, sticky on, on that one? Hold on. I don't want to write on it. Yeah, no, no. That's a document that has to be scanned into the portal to the state. With our scratch on it. Hold for next week. Purchase order 1569. I'll move purchase order 1569 to the Rollins Street Postmaster in the amount of $1,100 for 2200 stamps. Um, and there's a note here that stamp prices go up five cents. Five cents on 127. I almost had the postal rates. Yeah, I'll second that. Okay. So, what is she doing? Buying it for buying years? It. She's buying the forever stamps? I think so, yeah. yeah. So we're ahead of the game for yeah. They're going up uh, five cents a stamp again, huh? I have to buy some stamps too, actually. Yeah, me too. But it's by the end of the month they're going to go up, right? Buy some extra stamps. Huh? Yep. I hope, I hope I don't lose them. <laughs> I don't know how I do it. And they're not books anymore. They're sheets. So I don't know how you lose a whole sheet. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Yeah. Purchase order 1569 has been moved to second to for postage. The amount of $1,100. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? All right. This way, you know she needs them, or they need them. Let's see. Let's 
save a few bucks. Um, one more piece of correspondence oh. um, from your friends at Xfinity. Um, dear Chairman and members of the board, we are committed to keeping you and your customers informed of Xfinity TV changes, and I'm writing to inform you that MGM TV has terminated its contract with Comcast for distribution of MGM HD and Impact. Uh, yeah, no one does. Um, <laughs> February 1st, 2019. Um, as a result, we must remove this programming from our lineup and on demand library. Oh, I apologize to all those folks that enjoy MGM. It's not like Metro Golden Mayor, is it? Like, yeah, <laughs> it actually might be. I don't know. No more Wizard of Oz for any of people, then. <laughs> Or I think that, is that MGM? Yeah. Or is that the Lion? I don't know. Elizabeth watches it ad nauseum, so we already own it. We don't oh. have to. We don't have to but rely on Comcast. So. Um, and from our, our friends at um, oh, actually like that one. Great Bay Matters, um, a magazine, which actually looks pretty cool. It is good. Yeah, we're gonna first. Yeah. Okay. Oh, so. All right, we're gonna have first. That's actually what I enjoy. Okay. Is there anything else from the folders? Oh, I don't know if this one. The dog licenses, let's license. Probably the right one, actually. What's this? The dog yeah. licenses. Yeah. All right, then. I should know this by now. Community input. Yes, Celia. Celia Leopold, Washington Street. Uh, will the board be sending out um, reminders to committee chairs and so forth for their annual reports for the... Um, yes. Have I done that already? He does that. No, we don't. We do? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I got it from both last year. Yeah, I, I thought I got mine from Kate. And just make, giving up the deadline when it's due. So they can have it for printing. <laughs> and the specifications I know in the past, it's, it had to be a PDF. This board doesn't work. Um, on all computers. I know more about it than I do. Okay, so reminders about many reports. And reports. And then my other question was, um, will residents' tax bills be sent out, or will they not be sent out with the current petition for an article? They will be sent out. Well, that's a good question. Where are they usually issued? I don't know. I don't think they get issued out until the after the town meeting, right? Yeah. I mean, the year, right? Aren't they well, if you right. have, if your birthday falls before April, you have to pay it to register your car. Mm -hmm. well, so then, then you're out ten bucks. So then, do you get refund or are you out ten dollars? <laughs> Let me tell you a better story. Now you're not going to get refunded ten dollars. When the legislature decided, in its infinite wisdom, in 2011, I think it was, to reduce, was it? Yes, reduce the. Um, the cost to the surcharge to register your vehicle, it went into effect in June. I was born in May. I didn't get my $45 or whatever it was, so I feel your pain. You get it on the other end. Exactly. Next year. You make it up for no, you'll decades. Lose. So will I. So I'm a February well, baby. <laughs> I'm just you asking. $10 too, sorry. Well, that's a good point, though. We shouldn't be mailing these out at a cost of X. Well, we should be printing and more mailing them, right? Right. Well, we don't know if it's going to pass. So we so have you to do it after March. Was there a deadline when it had to be done? I've never sent the bottom. Yeah. It's a good question for our tax collector. We can ask. April. I think they would do April something or other. 15. April 1st or 15th, probably, right? But they won't usually let you register your car if your birthday is after the due date. But if they don't they mail them, they can't stop you from registering right. your car. Right. It goes on the next year. Does that make sense? Like, so when you go back in. Because you must have paid, what year are we, 2019? You must have paid 2018, right? Yeah. We have to pay it in May because in order to register one vehicle in my house, it's May, and one vehicle is June. So in order to register the vehicle in May, yeah. my husband and I both pay our residence tax yeah. mm -hmm. All right, well, then you should in May. That. But I'm thinking about if I have family here, oh. their birthdays are March and April. Oh, well. I, think I don't know, Celia, to be honest with you. I, we'll I find out. You can make a note to, uh, making a note to ask the... Um, and then it's late. Tax collector. 
you to pay more, right? Where is it? The head tax. I didn't know they can print with it if they want it. They yeah. have it already printed it. They can move it out okay. based on the... I sincerely the... hope that... You're, if you... I don't consider it. it, you might have some angry people that are... Okay. Okay. No, it. They can't make you pay something if they haven't sent it out to you. So, if they're planning on this going forward, I mean, why would you print these out if you, if you have a petition warrant call, which has their signatures on it, mind you, in the office over there? You're why not going to get it. Because every year I go in, for some reason I get stuck doing it, I go in and register my wife's car. She was born this month. I think i got to go in and do it this week. Um, and I say, oh, i got to pay Kate's head tax. And they say, no, you don't. you got to pay the make of the ammunition room yet. Yeah. So I'm guessing that your relatives that don't live here yet, or if they ever may live here, who knows, this exercise we're going through may not mean anything, because they won't be issued yet. So, yeah. Anything else for tonight? No. All right, have a nice night. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.